Hey guys and welcome back to the Swansea FIFA 17 career mode. I know it's Sunday but we're not going to have a squad report today. We're going to be playing three games because from judging by the comments, a squad report every Sunday is too regular. So we'll just do it every other Sunday in, uh, instead. We're going to be taking on Burnley in the round of 16 of the EFL Cup today. We recently played them in the league and absolutely annihilated them. So hoping to do very much the same. Then we'll travel to West Brom before like... A two-day, three-day break before taking on Zenit in the Champions League. Champions League, obviously, we got a great win away to Juve in the last episode. So a win against Zenit would really put us in a good chance to qualify, which would be amazing if we could reach a knockout stage. But let's jump in now to the EFL Cup round of 16, looking to book a place in that quarterfinal. Let's go. So Burnley, a team that we have just smashed, like I said earlier. They've put a strong team out, even though it's the EFL Cup. It's normally a chance for teams to uh, have a look at some of the fringe players, but they're not doing that. They're taking no chances, and they're going for the win. We've completely changed our side. We're going with a 4-4-2 formation. Carter and Robinson, the two academy players, are back in. Completely changed the defence. The Anana, the young goalkeeper we got from Ajax, is in. And Llorente will partner Isak up front. Oh, what a ball that is. Andre Gray could be in and Burnley have the lead. Not the best of starts. Andre Gray, that's four in his last four games now in this career mode. He's on fire for Burnley. It's a good ball through. He dived in in the midfield, just completely missed the challenge. And Gray escaped all the defence and slotted it home. Oh, that's a good ball. Here's Hennings trying to get past his man. He has done and he's blazed it over. Chance for Burnley to double their lead. Got very little in terms of support. Knocks it in to Montero. Finds Llorente, bulldozes his way through the big man. What can he do here? Looks for Isak, he's found him. Going to hit one from distance, he's cracked the crossbar. Lowton and Heaton getting in a bit of a mix-up, but eventually the keeper grabs the ball. Great effort, though, from Isak. Thought it was going to nestle into the roof of the net. Arfield plays the ball down the left. Mawson goes across, but he has not got the strength to knock his geezer off the ball. Ball is stood up to the back stick. Kingsley heads it away, but only as far as Arfield, who finds Ulverstad, who's hit the post. That's twice in this game the woodwork's been hit. And Alfie Mawson struggling to get it away. But now we have Carroll knocks it wide to Robinson. It's going to be the last chance of the first half. Isak turns, looks for Llorente, but he's not going to be able to find him because the half-time whistle's gone. It's been an even contest, not a great deal of chances, but Burnley have the lead thanks to that early goal from Andre Gray. Here's Tom Carroll. What's he going to do? He needs a runner. Neither Isak or Llorente are the kind of players to run beyond the defence. But Llorente's got space here. He might thread it through. Carroll! Too much on the pass. Unlucky. Good build-up play at the start of this second period. Half hour to go. Double change. Kessie and Lozano coming on for Llorente and Carter. We've switched to a 4-2-3-1. We need a goal. Carroll looking to turn out. Lozano's made a forward run. And Carroll has picked him out nicely. Lozano cuts inside his man. He's got a player in support. It's Tom Carroll. Can he drill one in? Oh! I've got no words. How unlucky can you get? Second time we've hit the woodwork. That rolled along the line. Ugh. Andre Gray in possession. Oh, it's a nice ball through. Good effort. Good save. Thought he'd palm that in then for a minute. Oh, what? Andre Gray looking to spin. Gets a shot away. Comfortable stop from Anana. We're running out of time. Burnley have gone ultra defensive. We've gone ultra attacking. Come on, boys. There we go. Here's Ashley Barnes. Lays it inside. Chance here for Ulverstad. What a block from Fernandez. That has kept us in this tie. Kessie finds Lozano. Run. Sprint. Go. Five minutes. Don't want to rush it, though. Got to make sure there's quality on the end of this. Lozano cuts inside. Could square it. Oh, why have I been sweaty? Serves me right. I should have shot. Andre Gray running forward. Good challenge from Alfie Mawson. But we're into stoppage time. There's only going to be two minutes of it anyway. So this will very much be our last opportunity. Carroll releases Montero. We are away, but the referee blows the full-time whistle. We're not going to get any further. Hit the woodwork twice. Could say we were unlucky. I think in the end, it was one squad rotation too many. Could have put a stronger side out, but it's not our priority. We've got other, we've got other priorities that we can turn our attention to. Champions League, that's the main one. So we're taking on West Brom here at the Hawthorns. Not a ground that previously I've had a lot of success at. I'm just pleased to see Rondon on the bench. Because he always scores against me. We've gone back to our familiar 4-3-3 after suffering the EFL Cup exit. It's a lot stronger. You know, we're back to our familiar lineup. Dolberg is up front. I need him to go on a goal scoring run. Samedo running forward early. He's found Renato Sanchez in space. Should have taken that nearer. But Foster gets down well to turn it behind. Early corner. Driven in by Gilfie. Dolberg's at the near post. Flicks it on once. Very nearly got there again. Roberto lays it back. Sigurdsson trying to bulldoze his way through. It's not going to happen. Morrison out wide. 
Tackled by Samedo, but he gets it back. Drives one into the box. Pickford beat the attacker to it. Really good goalkeeping. Here is Lozano in space. Can he beat his man? Of course he can. He always does. Looks to thread it through to Renato Sanchez. He cuts inside beautifully. Can he finish? Oh, it's blocked on the line. Ball drops to Lozano. Should have hit it first time. Tried to take a touch. And the danger's gone. Finds Sanchez, who looks lively already today. Lays it off to Roberto. Back to Sanchez somehow. Oh, it's actually gone to Dolberg, who finds Sanchez now. Oh, what a stop, Ben Foster. Roberto. Sanchez lays it off. Go on, Nelson. Why not? Why not? Good hit. Oh, it's gone low. It's flown wide. Sigurdsson. Dolberg. Touched on to Sanchez. Back to Dolberg. Sanchez continues his run. Can he be found? He can. Can he finish? Foster comes out. Oh, Sanchez. That is class. He's just stretched and lifted the ball over Ben Foster, who looks like he was in form and was going to be difficult to beat. But that little moment of magic from Sanchez. Great ball from Dolberg as well, by the way. But look at that finish. Foster would have got there otherwise. Roberto finds Dolberg again. He looks lively too. Oh, what a ball. Lozano got Roberto inside. Roberto's been found. He's created a bit of space. Looks to finesse it. Oh, he's just got it slightly wrong. He's got his angles wrong. Lemos wins possession. Oh, look. Williams was making that run, but the halftime whistle has gone. Dominant first half performance from us. We thoroughly deserve our lead. Roberto. Sigurdsson. Oh, nice turn. Release the pace of Inaki Williams. He's getting into the box here. What can he do? Oh, good bit of footwork. Why not have a go? Why not have a go? Foster saves straight onto the head of Gilfie Sigurdsson. That's a little bit of scripting, I reckon. I'd be fuming if that happened at the other end. Although it was a decent save and a strong hand from Foster. But Gilfie was there and on hand to head it home. 2-0. I think that's... He's got head butted as well, Gilfie. Gilfie touches it on to Inaki Williams. Turns his man. Dolberg makes a run. Williams continues his run. Could be three here. We're cutting West Brom apart. Williams somehow squeezes it past Lopez and past Foster. It's another stylish Premier League win here. Oh, it took a slight deflection. It's 3-0. 3-0. Love it. It's going to be a triple change. Williams, Roberto and Sanchez all going to be rested ahead of that Zenit game. Fair, Kessie and Pulisic coming on. Leroy Fair, by the way, hasn't had a lot of game time. Here's Jakob for West Brom. It's a terrible ball. Samedo cuts that out with ease. And obviously they're pushing forward, trying to find a way somehow to get back into this, which means they're vulnerable, which sees Leroy Fair pick up possession, sees Leroy Fair find Lozano, which sees him place it home into that corner to make it 4-0. That was a textbook goal. Beautiful counter-attack. But the finish, that is composure. Only just got the shot away in time. Robson Carnu plays it down the left. Nasser Chadley puts the ball in. Pickford can't get there. What is the striker doing there? Oh, Pickford. He's giving a corner away. Corner. Can we defend it? Goes very deep. Pickford comes out, gets a punch on it. Only goes as far as Jakob. Surely he's got to strike that. He finds Rondon. He always scores against me. Let's get the ball away, shall we? Kessie finds Dolberg on a yellow card. Oh, what a ball. No, it's not. Sigurdsson. Pulisic. It's going to be another goal. It's a dangerous attack. Look, where are the, where is that West Brom defence? Pulisic going for goal from a tight angle just because Rondon spreads play to Chadley into Rondon. This is a bit better from West Brom. Starting to play some decent football for the first time today. James Morrison's ball, though, sort of sums up their attacking threat over the last 83 minutes. Nothing's gone right for them and everything seems to be going right for us as Lozano has found space down his left-hand side. He's on his own. Oh, good tackle. Good ball forward. Rondon will give chase. But that means nobody is in the box for West Brom. Lemos trying to do something. I think he's forced a goal kick. It's just not been their day at all. Those away fans are happy. Full time whistle goes. Dominant, dominant, dominant display. That will give us a lot of confidence ahead of that Champions League game against Zenit. Getting a little warning message from the board about the uh, youth team player shirt sales. We're not on track. There's not a lot I can do about that, lads. You set me such... A stupid goal. Let's just remind ourselves of it. Make two and a half million pound profit from youth player sales. It's just not going to happen. A lot of people were upset at the sale of Plie, to be fair. And he was good for us for a period when he first joined. Other than that, he struggled. And it seems like he's struggling at his new club, Atletico Madrid, as well. Fans have not been overly impressed with the new signing since forking out 40 million for him. So it seems like good business. Let's just remind ourselves of the group standings. We are top of the group and neither Nice or Zenit have picked up a win yet. So a win here, I think, 
secures us qualification. It's horrible, wintry, snowy, cold conditions here though in Russia. But we're playing against the weakest team in the group, certainly form-wise. Anyway, they're playing a 4-3-3, same as us. Let's see if we can just, just get over this line. I'd, a lot of people suggesting we should uh, rest Pickford as well for the Champions League and play Anano. I'm not going to do that until we've guaranteed qualification. If we win here, I'll play Anana in the last two games to get him some more game time. It's a very strong, familiar squad. Dembele replaces Dolberg. I think that's the only change. Sanchez skips past one. Skips past another. They're backing off him. Finesse one, Renato. Won a corner early on. I hate these goal nets. Hopefully we can smash the football into them. Though Dembele hits the side netting. So it was close. Positive start. You know what? Playing in white. With the snowy pitch, makes it very... My players are almost camouflaged. I'm finding it really hard to see them. It's certainly done us no favours. Oh, it's been skinned, Lemos. Absolutely skinned. Javi Garcia here. Plays it to Maurizio. He's going to hit the shot and it flashes just wide of the post. Javi Garcia bringing the ball forward again. He's supposed to be doing that holding midfield role, but he's gone on a little uh, little mission here. And we're trying to win the ball back. If we can, we're, all, we're away on the counter. We know this formation is effective, but Zuba has the shot and that flies wide. Then it... Better start to this game. Look at the snow. It looks beautiful. Sanchez finds Sergio Roberto. Dembele makes a run, but Lozano is in more space on this right-hand side. He's going to lay it off to Sanchez. Might lay it, lay it off one more. It's going to be hit by Gilfi. Hit it with plenty of power. I lost sight of the ball, but the keeper didn't. Sanchez. Oh, clever turn. Roberto on one more. Gilfi again in space. Should have played it through, but instead... Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, instead he found the bottom corner, but he didn't. Oh, good work from Sergio Roberto, just hunting Zenit down with one possession back. Here is Inyaki Williams. Can he turn his man? He can. He's cut inside. He's into the box here, Williams, on his left foot. Oh, it was going wide, I think, but the keeper couldn't be sure. Roberto, good footwork. Skips away from his man. Lozano has got a lot of space. Dembele has made a run inside. Oh, I just had to find him. But Lozano's won it back, and he's laid it off here to Roberto. Touches it on one more. Sanchez, touch and hit. Good block. Falls back to him, and he has got way overexcited and smashed it, Rose Ed. Oh, what a poor pass. Then it had been poor now. They had a great flew out, you know, great start to this game. Sanchez touches it on. Lozano back to Sanchez. This time, this keeper is having a blinder. Samedo, can we make something happen? No. Oh, counter-attack's very much on here for Zenit. Oh, Zuba plays it to Shatov, who's completely through. Roberto busting a gut to get back. Classic counter-attack from Zenit. And they've scored. That is totally, totally against the run of play. But you make mistakes in the Champions League, you're punished for them. Simple as that. That was mouldy, absolutely mouldy. Not sure what Lemos is doing rolling around on the floor. It's a decent finish. I thought Pickford would save it, but he didn't. Into first half stoppage time here. Can we get level before the break? Here's Sergio Roberto. Oh, goes past his man. Unselfishly tried to square it to Lozano. Would have been better off having the shot. Still might be one last opportunity. Williams finds Sigurdsson. Going to lay this off. Sanchez. Now Lozano's been found. And he's turned his man. And that's a perfect challenge from Anyukov. Corner driven in by Gilfi. Flicked on by Dembele into the arms of the goalkeeper. And that will be that for the first half. This game's been like a seesaw. Then it dominated the opening 10-15 minutes then we had a spell of domination and then they took the lead very very strange game but you get the feeling there'll be more goals Roberto finds Sanchez Sigurdsson Dembele Williams good move this Williams finds Roberto and might rebound back into his path gonna lunge in finds Sergio Roberto oh, great footwork these two are like class in midfield oh what a move Sergi oh, finish it it's going to go back to Dembele. Finesse's one. Oh, what a strike. What a save. It's keeper, man. Sanchez. Williams to his right. Here he is. Going to have to go backwards. Got a man on the edge of the box. It's Gilfi. Whack. Oh, man. What have we got to do to score? Dolberg and Pulisic have come on. They're both getting involved immediately. Here is Dolberg with his first touch. Hits the shot. Wow, what an introduction. He's literally been on the pitch for a matter of seconds. Both of the substitutes involved. It's Pulisic who found Sanchez, who touched it on to Dolberg, who's got us level. See if we can find a winner. He's got Roberto inside. He's got Williams making a forward run. Not the greatest ball, but it's found its way to Williams. Can he hold off the attentions of the defender? Drills one across and Dolberg is there. Gets his second of the game. Not sure what the man in the middle was doing from a defensive point of view, but I don't care. I'll take it. We look, or it looks as though we've snatched 
all three points here in Russia. It's a late, late goal. Williams thought he'd overrun that, but he done well. Just drove it across goal. No real aim to it, just to cause a bit of confusion in the box. And Dolberg kicked it into the floor, but it found its way in. Oh, Dolberg's been found. Lays it off to Williams. Dolberg continues his run. He's been found here. And Williams continues his run. He's been found. Let's wrap it up. Inaki Williams, lovely. Thank you. 3-1. Good night. Dolberg, since coming on, honestly, has, has run the show. He's only been on the pitch for 20 minutes. Inaki Williams, not the best finish, but it found its way in. Full time, Zenit 1, Swansea 3 on a snowy, cold, wet, windy night here in Russia. We've held our own and we've gone on strong. It's a great comeback. We showed great character, in the words of Brendan Rodgers. So that win has secured qualification to the knockout stage of the Champions League. A fantastic achievement. We're top with 10 points. Juventus are second, just a point behind us, but we can relax a little bit now. Now, I'm not too worried about whether we finish first or second in the group. Obviously, first would give us a more favourable draw, but all the teams in the Champions League are quality. So some game time for Anana coming up. I think we've the only team left in the group yet to lose a game, which is fantastic. We're out of the EFL Cup at the hands of Burnley, which is the only slight disappointment to this episode but it does allow us to focus our attentions elsewhere like the Premier League where we sit second one point behind league leaders Manchester United level on points with Spurs who are third and Everton who are fourth hats off to Southampton they're still unbeaten 10 games into this season the only team left to remain undefeated Arsenal and Chelsea are sixth and seventh Liverpool and Man City down at 14th and 15th. That's disappointing for them. And the three London clubs still remain in the relegation zone. But drop a like on this video, guys, if you have enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you are new to the channel so you don't miss any future content. And I'll see you next time.